let's talk about making copies. I think I'll select this and delete it. Actually, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to delete this by hitting delete and then select that and hit delete. And all I'm left with is this little object again. Now, if I want to make a copy in SketchUp, it's very simple. Select that or not select it. We just talked about pre-selecting or not pre-selecting. In the case of things like single groups, it doesn't really matter what you do. Let's get the move tool. Now the key here is copying in SketchUp is done with the move tool and it's done with a modifier key. On the PC it's done with the control key. And when I hold down the control key it basically toggles from move to copy. And the difference in the cursors is the little plus sign at the top right of the cursor. So when you see that plus sign it means it's going to copy instead of move. If I hit control again um, it's back to just being move. So copy, move, copy, move, something like that. On the Mac, you hit Option instead of Control. So, but Control on the PC, Option on the Mac. All right, so if I just take this in Move mode and move it around, it's just moving it, right? But if I hit the Control key to change it into Copy mode and then grab this thing, what I'm doing is I'm moving away a copy. And that's really the only difference between copying and SketchUp and moving. You just hit the Control key or Option on a Mac to make a copy instead of moving, just like that. Now, let's say that we wanted to make multiple copies. And this is a little bit more complicated, but let's just delete this. Um, if you're a rote beginner, you might not want to pay attention now, but if you're uh, a little bit more experienced, then you might want to keep watching. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm going to hold down, uh, I'm going to actually just tap Control to shift into copy mode from move mode, and then move a copy of this. Now let's say I want five more of those or let's say five in addition to this first one that I did. Watch the VCB down here in the right hand corner. I'm going to type in five and then the letter X. And when I type in the letter X, I'm telling it not to give me a length. I'm telling it to give me a multiple. So by hitting enter after I type in five X, I get five of them. Or I can say, you know what? I only want three more. So I'm going to type in three X. It gave me three more. Or I can say I want 10 more. Or I can say I want 100 more. So you can see that this is actually kind of a cool way to get a whole bunch of copies of things if you need them. In this case, I'm just going to be kind of conservative and only make three more, and I'll have three X there. I'm going to hit Zoom Extents again to sort of zoom my whole window to, to exactly what's in my model. Now, that's using X along with the copy command. Let's delete those, and what I'm going to do this time is make a different kind of copy of a group. I'm going to take this, hit Control or Option on a Mac to make a copy. I'll throw it, let's say, I don't know, 50 feet over there, like that. Uh, you know what? Let's make it 200 feet over in that direction. And then let's say I wanted five more in that space. I'm going to say I want five divided by, and actually what it's going to give me is four more in that space. So by five divided by, it means make five more and put four in between. I'm not sure exactly how to explain that terminology, but if you can count, then you could figure it out. Let's put 6 divided by, and now I've got 5 between the one that I, that I originally did. So let's try all of that again. I don't mean to beat a dead horse, but this is the sort of thing that lots of people ask about, so I thought I'd just demonstrate it exhaustively here. I'm going to make a copy, throw my copy right here, and say 6x, enter, to make 6 in that direction. Or I can actually make a copy of 2 out like this and say 6 divided by, and it'll throw 6 in between those two, just like that. Okay, so that concludes the moving and copying like a champ video for Google SketchUp for Dummies.